What's up guys, it's Alina and today I thought it would be a good idea to film a one year update on my piercings. Tomorrow is the 13th and it will have been one year since I got four piercings on the same day. So if you guys didn't watch that video, you might want to go back and watch it. I got two cartilage piercings and my second holes pierced. And today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how the healing process went for all of those and talk about a few of the complications that I had. I apologize in advance because I do not have very many pictures of how my piercings looked during this experience. I did not think that it was going to go as bad as it did so I didn't think about taking pictures or anything like that. My timeline might be a little bit sketchy. I'm going to give you guys like rough estimates of when things happen. But again, like I didn't document any of this. So this is just like from what I can remember. So I'm going to start off by talking about my second holes. The right one didn't give me any problems whatsoever. Like after I want to say like three months, it was completely healed. I was sleeping on it, changing the earrings. Everything was good to go. The left one, it was kind of the same thing but around like the three month mark i want to say it started to bleed one day like a lot a lot of blood and i hadn't touched it it wasn't infected i really don't to, to this day i still don't know what happened to it but it started to bleed a ton and so i took it out and i was like okay let me just wait overnight to see how they look tomorrow let it stop bleeding let it rest a little bit and so the next day i woke up and my left second hole was completely closed and I was like all right I went to the piercing shop and they said that I had to wait two weeks to get it re-pierced so two almost three weeks later I went back and I got it pierced again and during those two weeks I didn't have anything in the ear because it was closed so I was wearing just one earring because I didn't want the right ear to close and so the second time around that I got it I didn't have any problems and so my cartilage piercings is a completely different more intense story so i had two cartilage piercings initially again i got them both in the same day and so what had happened was i was cleaning them regularly for about two months and after two months they started to become like colored again so they started to like look like my skin color and it seemed like they were healing fine. They weren't hurting that much either. So I had assumed that, I shouldn't have assumed this first of all, like don't stop cleaning your piercings just because it doesn't hurt anymore. But I did stop cleaning my piercings after about, I think three months. It's the, it didn't hurt at two months, but like at three months or four months, I stopped cleaning them. Another thing that I probably shouldn't have done, if you're going to get piercings, you should probably start with a stud and not hoops. I feel like if I probably would, probably if I would have gotten a stud, I wouldn't have had as many problems as I did. But at the end of May, like right before I graduated, the second one fell out. So it appears that the piercer didn't close it the whole way or the ball that was on the back got loosened. I don't know what happened, but by the time I had realized, I had bumped my ear and it fell out and I was gonna put it back in and the hole was already closed. So it had to have been closed for several days for it to have been like that by the time I took it out. And so I didn't wanna get it pierced again. I was like, mm-mm. So I just was down to one. So with the cartilage piercings, I had so much difficulty sleeping, specifically on my right side, because I had three fresh piercings and then one on the left. So sleeping was awful and I didn't want to have to go through it again if I got it re-pierced. So I was very upset that it closed, but I ended up getting like two little white caps like on the front and on the back from the healing because obviously the cartilage is a very thick piece of skin so i got these really really small white caps and they told me to mix tea tree oil and coconut oil and to put it on there and that it would reduce it or like you know make it go away so i did that for about i want to say like a week or two weeks and then both caps fell off so right now you can't even tell that I had a second hole there. There's no scarring whatsoever. It feels, the skin is obviously going to feel different, but you can't really tell that I had a second piercing there. So the top one was the one that I kept in for the longest. I had it in from April until November. And so throughout this time, I was like cleaning it interminately. So it would be like, I clean it for the first three months and then I stopped cleaning it and then after a while it had like a bump on the back it was started off really small 
okay so actually the same day that i went to check on my second piercing i asked them to check the back of my cartilage piercing because the bump was already there was forming like ever since i stopped cleaning it it was a really really small bump and they told me oh it's a keloid don't worry about it it's more likely that you will get those than for you to not get those so they told me to do the same thing put tea tree oil and coconut oil and i was like okay so i did that for a week two weeks three weeks and nothing changed and the bump was still the same size so i kind of just left it alone and i kept uh cleaning it with the h2o sea salt spray i kept cleaning it with that after that the bump started to grow and i didn't do anything to it i was cleaning it so it shouldn't have kept growing but it did continue to grow i want to say that by the time that i had to get it removed in november it was about the size of a pea after the two month point that i said that i stopped cleaning it the piercing never stopped hurting so once the second one fell off the first one was the only one left and it was always hurting and you would move it and it would feel like my entire world was about to shut down like it was really really bad i couldn't twist it back and forth i couldn't move it up and down because the skin was just so so stiff still and it wasn't healing and i didn't know what to do about it i was trying to keep it in for as long as possible because i thought that it was just like a process and i thought the bump would go away and it didn't so november 29th was when i went to the dermatologist to get it checked and mind you i also developed a small bump inside that came up maybe like three months after the back one did the front one there was one like right above the piercing that was a lot smaller but it was there i went to the dermatologist and they said that i would have to freeze it off because they said if i didn't freeze it that it was going to keep growing so on november 29th i went and i got them both frozen off and so you'll see in the pictures i'll like put them right here but you'll see the few days after so the one that was in the back i'm when i say that it swelled up to about three times the size it was like i had a balloon on the back of my ear and it started to turn purple because that's really what cryotherapy does because it's so such cold air it'll like freeze the area it'll make it swell and it'll make it turn purple because the skin is dying and so are like the tissue that's inside so it swelled to like three times the size and then after that it started to reduce and then it started to come off in flakes i'm really sorry for the graphic description but it started to come off in flakes and then it seemed like i had a scab on the back of my ear and then the scab healed and so that i want to say it took about two weeks to completely heal and so after a month i had to go back for them to check it again and so he still didn't really like how it was looking so he had to freeze it a second time the one that was in the back and so after that it ended up looking pretty much the same and i was like you know what it's okay it's not even worth it to keep trying to freeze it and freezing it is also i'm pretty sure very expensive and so i was like just leave it like that like it looks fine it went through the same process again it swole up and then it started to come off in flakes and so right now that's where we're at so the second appointment was in january and now it's april my ear is completely healed i don't have any scabbing the one that was inside it flattened out completely like you can't tell that that was there either so basically the skin on my right ear is a little bit harder and less flexible than the skin on my other ear because obviously my ear has been through a lot of trauma i'm not upset at all with how it looks like i really at this point i just know that i probably shouldn't have gotten any piercings but anytime that you watch videos because i did a lot of research you think that it's not going to happen to you that keloids aren't going to happen and that they're going to go away and so that's how i was thinking and that wasn't the right mentality to have i wasn't cleaning it the way that i was supposed to so definitely if you're thinking of getting piercings you need to be prepared for the commitment to cleaning it and to not sleeping on it so for cartilage piercings apparently it takes nine months to a year for it to heal and you can't sleep on it because it hurts so bad you don't want to sleep on your cartilage piercings and if you want to sacrifice that much sleep i sacrificed two months worth of sleep that i wasn't able to sleep on my side correctly because of the piercing so make sure that you're committed to cleaning it every single day two and three times a day to make sure that you don't have any problems and make sure you're ready to not be able to sleep the shape still looks the same overall so i'm very 
lucky and fortunate because I know people get keelers on their ear and then their whole ear becomes deformed. So my ear looks perfectly fine. You can't even tell that I had anything there. And I'm very blessed that it didn't get worse than what it did and that I was able to go to the dermatologist when I did. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what's next and subscribe to my channel. Subscribe button is down below along with all of my social media links, my Instagram, my Twitter, my VSEO, and my Spotify. And I will see you guys next week. Feliz nunca me ha salido